Hi my magical friends, it's Jess from My Magical Planner and today I'm going to be planning out my monthly spread for the month of December in my Harriet Wright Designs planner using this beautiful Sadie Stickers monthly kit. If you want to see this in full detail, I will link my monthly kit lineup up above so you can check that out. Otherwise, I'm just going to go ahead and get into this and I'll probably speed this up and do a voiceover for you guys. All right, I'm back here in the voiceover. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay down kind of my base with the headers at the top and my sidebar, cause that'll kind of give me an idea of where colors are and the general feel for the page and everything. The December side went down really smoothly. The other side, <laughs> I don't know what my problem was. I could not put it down in a straight line and it kept bothering me. So I picked it up and put it down, I don't know, like five or six different times trying to get this thing straight. I finally got it to the point I wanted and then I could line up the sidebar with it because if it's off even just like a fraction, when you put down that sidebar and you're using that top sticker to line up, you're going to be really off by the bottom of that column. So it was really important to me. The next thing I'm going to go do is I pulled out my calendar on my phone and I'm marking down the dates, just like one column of them. So I can count things out and put my full boxes in the spots that I want to. Of course, it helps if you remember what day of the week you're looking at there. <laughs> For some reason, like my brain still occasionally goes to my Erin Condren where Wednesday was that middle column because the sidebar is on the other side. Anyhow, so I go in ahead and put those in and then I could count out either way. And then at the end, I can erase those and it doesn't leave any marks or anything. So I can get my boxes in the right spot without having to put all my numbers down, which is really key when you're working with an undated planner. So I hope that helps you guys if you're working with an undated planner, because sometimes it can be hard to kind of judge how the overall spread's going to be when you don't have those numbers there. So once I put down my full boxes, I'm going ahead and filling in those empty spaces at the beginning and the end of the month with those um, decorative full boxes. Now, the one thing that sometimes drives me a little crazy is they don't, the Sadie stickers, I can't seem to get them to match perfectly up with the boxes in the Harriet Wright Design Planner. And so I kind of have to decide where's gonna be the best line to have a little extra space, which is why I pulled up that bottom box and moved it over so that it would line up with those two decorative boxes. And then I have just a teeny tiny sliver on the other side of it, but most people won't notice that. And I did the same thing with the box on the 19th. So this is just me putting in all of our dates, which are amazing. And it looks like a normal planner once you get past this point. I do love the amount of freedom I get with this planner by not having the dates in, that I can move things around and pretty much do whatever I want. So it's really, really great for that. I did make sure that December had 31 months. If you guys have seen any of my videos where I've added an extra day to months. Now I'm taking my letters to Apollo scripts for Merry Christmas and New Year's. I'll put um, Merry Christmas Eve in there too. I somehow <laughs> lost the sticker sheet that has all the scripts and everything that went with this. So I actually spent an entire evening looking for it and could not find it. So I improvised a little bit by using those Letters to Apollo scripts. And then I'll pull in a couple of scripts from previous kits and then I just write some things in. So anyhow, starting on Monday, um, I did mark the start of Vlogmas because at this point I was kind of thinking, well, maybe I'll do Vlogmas. I have enough content. I could do Vlogmas. It ended up being a, I didn't want the pressure of it. So I decided not to, but I totally want to support all of my friends who are doing it. Like Plan with HB is on it. I'll make sure and link her down below in case you guys want to check out her daily videos. It's just super nice. So I also marked Dan's trombone lesson there and that Dan had a drive. I think that was his last official drive. And then on Thursday, um, I had planned on having lunch with a friend and the Christmas program for our skating club had their dress rehearsal that night, 
which is a really big deal. Then I moved on to the next part of the week. I really wanted to put down that box, but it felt too big, especially with all the other things I knew I was going to need to put in there. So I went ahead and just cut that box down a little bit. It gives me a secondary piece that I can use somewhere else. And it just fit the box. I felt better. So I used that to mark Megan's lesson. I also had PT this day and there was a U of M hockey game, which I think was the last one of the season. I think they have a few more invitationals, but the normal season is over. So I just marked PT with one of the arrows at the top. And then for the hockey game, I pulled one of those corners and I'm just going to layer on a little bit of floral. I looked at using a few different types and decided to go with the mistletoe because it felt best. The other ones just, I didn't feel like I had enough room for the other flowers. And then I really wanted to do something special for Saturday because it was the official Christmas ice show. And so I wanted it to stand out. And I looked at using some of these other bigger pieces, but they didn't seem to fit. But this candle, I felt did a pretty good job and gave me still enough room to really write in the program. So we have that. And then at this point, I think I decided that the week, like the every week things I was going to do at the end and I would get the other stuff out of the way. I've done that in the past and it really works well for me. I don't know why I didn't start that way on this one, to be honest. So anyhow, on Monday the 6th, I'm marking uh, my friend's birthday. And then on Tuesday, we were taking all of the cars in for car maintenance. So it was a take one car. When they were done with that car, we'd switch it out for another car. <laughs> it was an all day thing. Anyhow, but it was really important. We, you know, are getting new tires for cars for winter and all of that. I did also pull in a couple of icons. I can't remember what, who those are from, but just some balloons to go with the happy birthday. And then I actually really love this little car and the fact that it's transpa transparent on top of those swirls looked really nice. So at the bottom, we also had some friends coming into town to visit. They were going to be here like two days. So I kind of put that little arrow over both days. And then Emily had her autism testing on Wednesday, which is yesterday, <laughs> just in case you're wondering when I'm recording this. And then on the 9th, I did put a tooth icon that was from White Deer Stationery. I layered it on one of the corner boxes with a little floral in the background. And I made sure not to put it in the exact corner because I felt it would have crowded the other things around it. And then on Saturday there, I took one of the half boxes and layered that big tree because me and my sisters and <clears throat> my cousins and stuff are going to go out shopping for the day for Christmas, which should be a lot of fun. And then on Sunday, we have an orchestra concert to go to for Christmas, which is also going to be a lot of fun. I marked that with that little candy cane with greenery attached to it. I thought that was super cute. And then going on to the next week, again, I cut down that box just to give me more room. I'm really enjoying doing that because it makes my spread feel not so overwhelming. I layered on a little bit of floral to give me some separation. And I also put on one of the Joy of Planning icons. I absolutely adore those. That was for Dan's well child visit. Super important to remember, right? <laughs> and then on the 15th, we have another concert for Christmas. This one's the band concert. So I also wanted to make it stand out. So I used another of the bigger elements, that big half circle and layered on some floral and then a musical, I think that's, it's not a, no, it's a thing at the beginning. Anyhow, um, on there <laughs> to mark the concert, which is going to be really awesome. And then on the 16th, I go back to see the back pain specialist. So I have just one of those octagons. I layered on a little bit of green floral in the background just to make that stand out as well. I use the remnant of that pink box that I used up on the third here and layered on a fork and spoon kind of place setting and for my nutritionist appointment. And then we have, let's see, on the 17th, I went ahead and put in my hair appointment, which is now canceled because I have to do, I have to go in and get Emily's results for all of her testing that day. And it was easier to move my hair appointment than 
her um, her results. All right, now I'm marking the kids' Christmas break down there at the bottom. I used two strips of that washi. I didn't go over Saturday and Sunday because I didn't have enough of it. And so I just used one strip per week and then added on that box and wrote uh, kids' winter break there and pulled in this really cute little snow globe with a penguin in it. And I just thought it was adorable. <laughs> now I'm going ahead and marking... On the 27th, I will officially be able to get my nails done again. I'm super excited about this because I have missed having my really nice nails. So that's going to happen on the 27th. And then, oh, um, the 29th is one of their like one-off invitational games for hockey. So I did mark that because I think we might get tickets. I'm not sure. And then... That goes like over two days. So I marked it both on the 29th and the 30th. And I did pull in some more florals to just kind of layer on that box a little bit. And then I'm going to go back through. First, I'm writing all of the days of the week at the top. I really wanted to find the scripts first, but I, at this point, had given up. So I'm just going through and writing all of the days of the week at the top. I tried to do cursive to kind of match the script of December at the top. And then I'm going to go back through and for each day, like Mondays, I know Ethan works on Mondays, you know, the time changes a little bit, but he always works on Mondays. So I'm going through and putting that on the calendar. I'll fill in the times when I know those, but that's what that is. And then I'll go on to Tuesday and now I'm going to add in all of Megan's lessons. And if anything kind of overlaps with another thing, this is the point where I stop and I'll make a note of it and figure out what we need to do. Sometimes it involves contacting, you know, either her coach or someone else to kind of figure things out. So those are all in. Now I'm working on Wednesdays, which are Megan lessons. And, oh no, sorry, not Megan lessons, Dan's trombone lessons. I'll get this straight someday. <laughs> so I'm just adding in all of his trombone lessons. I'm really enjoying actually using these little corners in different ways. That's a personal challenge I gave myself this month and I think it's worked out pretty well. Um, so I have that. I also had to mark Ethan's work on here. So that's also going in. For most of these, I didn't pull in a lot of floral or anything because I didn't feel like I had floral that was the right size. So a lot of it this month felt really big. And then you have like these icon pieces and things that just didn't work for me. So now I'm going back in on Thursday. These are Megan lessons. <laughs> and so I'm alternating between um, mostly they're the uh, joy of planning little icons of her skating because I felt like the colors went really well. I have more of these coming because I go through so many skating stickers. I did layer on some florals in different spots. Um, most of the boxes I ended up, if I was using a box, cutting it down to be a better size. Um, I did really like layering the floral in this fashion where I kind of tucked a little bit behind. You just have a little peek of it and then putting an icon on the top. Uh, for some reason, it really appealed to me this month. And then um i'm layering on some floral down there to give separation and adding on my skating girl and then for the last one of this month because i couldn't find an icon that i felt was the right size i'm just taking a little remnant of that bottom washi at first i tried to cut it into an arrow and i think because it was so small it just didn't turn out right so i ended up just cutting a V in the, the back and making it a little page leg. And then I had to cut it down. So it was the right length to give me room to write, but it was an easy fix. Then we have Fridays. Fridays are another Megan lesson day. <laughs> I know there's a lot of them. What can I say? It's better than previous years. We used to skate five days a week and I'm preferring this like three days a week. It's awesome. <laughs> I don't have to do off eyes. It's yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. <laughs> we are getting a little bit more serious though, so we'll see. But anyhow, so I marked down her lessons there. Um, I did 
guess that we were not going to have one on Christmas Eve. That may not be the case. Sometimes they skate on Christmas Eve and same for New Year's. And then on Sundays, I had to mark in Ethan's work and I just pulled in various different elements for that. Um, on the 12th, I did cut that octagon in half just to give me more room. And I think, oh, now we're doing the sidebar, right? At the top, I put home and then below that is a to-do list. And then I'm going to write in Christmas and I wrote down everybody's names so I can kind of check it off when I have all of their gifts bought. And that way I know that I'm good. And then at the bottom, because I have a couple collaborations in the month, one of which is going to be, I think this Sunday. And I have a couple in the works for next month. Like I have a vision board thing that I am working on, which will come up, um, I think about January 10th of next month. Well, of course, January's next month. You know what I mean? So at the top, I put a couple of things that are, I would like to do for my house. I'd like to do a little bit more decorating. We worked on decluttering the garage already. We got one of those giant dumpsters, um, a fixed garage. We're working on it. Cars fixed, already got them in. We're good. Plan content was on my to-do list and reorganize office, not going to happen. Wash stairway walls because we have handprints. And then I've told you about the, that's all I have for this week. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there for more planning content. And I hope you guys all have a wonderful December. See you guys real soon. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times, we'll be chilling and having a good.